Even if I had plenty of options in my life, I would never dare to like explore them. My name is Max Donald Korkalang, but most people would just call me Max. And uh, I'm a recent graduate from Martin Luther University itself, from the Department of Information Technology. How I would describe myself is uh, I'm mostly an introverted person. I've always been an introvert my whole life. Sometimes it's really hard for me to come out from my comfort zone to do stuff that I haven't, uh, that I don't usually do, that I don't normally do. But uh, regardless of that, uh, I always take it as an opportunity. I always try my best. Uh, I don't shy away from challenges. Uh, I always go for it no matter what. And whatever I do, I always try to give my 100%. Before I joined MLCU, um, I was this very insecure person. Like, uh, even if I had plenty of options in my life, I would never dare to like explore them. I never had the courage to do any of that. But then after I joined MLCU, everything changed. During the first few weeks when I joined here, I was still very shy, very nervous. I never talked to anyone, even my own classmates. I didn't talk to anyone. I was alone. I came here alone. I went home alone. But then as the days go by, I figured that uh, this is not the right thing for me to do because uh, if I keep on going like this, then it won't be helpful for me as well. So I figured that I should change and uh, I started talking to people, uh, my own classmates. And uh, from then, I started becoming more comfortable with people. And they also, they kind of find me like this comfortable person that they can reach out to talk to. And uh, overall, it, it changed me for the better. Mm, my experience through uh, MLCU is that uh, it brought out the best in me, you know. Like as I've mentioned, uh, it wasn't easy for me to start uh, conversing or start contacting with people. But then through the experiences, like uh, the presentations during classes, the workshops and all that, uh, it helped me in ways that I can't uh, really uh, name out. As the days go by here when I joined MSCU and as I've approached more people and all, um, Ma'am Maino, my Norita, she suggested me to be the class representative. But then uh, that's where things really started to change for me. And uh, at first I was like, no ma'am, this is not the kind of responsibility that uh, I would like to take. But then she was like, just take it now. You know, you should take this chance uh, so that you can improve yourself. And then uh, I was fine by it then. I, I went for it and sure enough, uh, everybody was kind of happy uh, with the way how I manage everything in the class and all. And so after a few more weeks, uh, Ma'am Lucy, she invited me to be a part of the student council. <laughs> and uh, my approach with people it started getting better and better and better and I started coming out of my shell more mm. and uh, uh, it taught me many things and it helped me like to be more responsible and uh, helpful towards people and uh, it was really really a great experience for me and I'm really blessed to have joined this university. Uh, to put it in simple terms both of them, they've given me the courage that I lacked. Like, they pushed me in a good way. It pushed me in a good way that that I should um, exceed uh, what I set out for myself. Like the tasks, the things. Uh, they wanted me to do more. They helped me in ways that I can't really name all of them because there were so many things that they've, they've done for me and I'm really grateful for all of that. Uh, before I joined MLCU, as I've mentioned, I was insecure. I had uh, no clear vision as to what I want to do in life. Um, back then, uh, when I graduated from my class 12, 
I went for microbiology. But it wasn't something that, uh, that I liked. It was kind of like forced upon me, but I don't blame anyone for that because I didn't have the courage to speak up to, for myself. I didn't have the courage to say what I really want to do in life to my parents and all. So I just went along with it, but then things went downhill for me. They really went down for me. And just when I was about to give up hope, uh, my sister, she advised me, why don't you join here? Why don't you start something new over here? And I told her, won't it be a waste of time? Because it's a private university and all that, you know? But then she was like, no, trust me, you will love the experience there. You'll learn more. You'll be able, you'll be a totally, completely different person if you apply over there. And so I took her advice. I applied here and yeah, through the experiences that I've gone through through all these years, it is really one of the best universities I've attended. And I'm really, really glad that I did join here. This university, it really knows how to bring out the best in its students. Like for me, for me, for example, like I've mentioned, I'm an introvert, but then they know how to bring out the best in me there. So this is really a great university as compared to, I don't know much about any other universities since I haven't attended them, obviously. But then personally, this is really, really a great university. Uh, my message would be, don't be afraid to take chances. Life is all about learning and there are always options plenty of options coming through your way and uh, if you're in a dilemma or you don't really know what you want to do take your time and uh, try to explore those options those uh, choices that come through your way and uh, if it's good you'll eventually love it and if it's bad then you'll eventually learn something from it so my advice would be don't be afraid to take chances so yeah that's it